Biggie. City has some. What's going on, man? What's good? Look, got low tension span by fucking hell, bruv. Yeah? Friday, man. Chill out, G. Get me. You see me already, bruv. Fucking police out there when I drive in there, man. Do you get me, fam? I fucking hate it, bruv. When I see police sitting out there, the game's up in it. If they come, let's just say they did come for me, or whoever, whoever they come for, the game is up in it. Even if you're not in, the fact that they came here, yeah, the game is up. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you see what I do? Whenever I see police out there, rather than sitting there acting all oblivious and that, yeah, I'd rather just go down there, mate, so they can seize me, yeah, and if you want to nick me, bruv, here I am, innit? Okay, rather than sit in my ass on some tender hooks thing. Do you get me, bro? I'm not on it. Yeah, I, I hate them. I don't hate, no, lie. I don't hate police. I just know that I've done a lot of wrong out here. Okay, and any time it can come to bite, man. And then when you add on top of that, yeah, you got off-key neighbours, bro. That will send police into your house, bro. Like, can you blame me for acting the way that I act? But that is authentic jitters, mate. Yeah, and that only come from one place, okay? Right? If you was nine to five in all your life, you wouldn't be behaving the way that I was behaving when I came here earlier. Okay? Because you ain't got no guilt. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, even though I do a lot of good, a lot of good, a lot of good, a lot of good for years and years and years. And I ain't made no illegal dough in this yard. Yeah? Okay? When I say illegal dough, I mean like what I used to do to get money in it. So I'm not really worried about them like that. It's just like every time I see them, it's like fucking back to the future, innit? Do you know what I mean? But that's about it. Yeah, just now. You know about Benny. Of course I know about Benny, bro. <laughs> of course I know about Benny, fam. Yeah, brothers. Man, know about Benny, rude boy. Not, not going to act like I've known about him for too, too, too long. But got him in my archives now, bro. Them man there, them man there only doing, them man there's doing the real hip-hop, man. Get me? There ain't really a lot of people doing real hip-hop nowadays, bro. Them trust gang, they're doing all right. Come ask, what's going on? You're done now, respect bro, what's going on? Steph, what's going on? You good? Born for duty, what's going on bro? Yeah man. Yeah man. Bionic the initiator. Initiator of what though fam? <laughs> bro, <laughs> initiator of what rude boy? Please tell me so I can do it. You're on the way there bro. Please tell me what it is I do. Why you say that bro? So I can... Get a bit of the old initiation from it. You know what I mean? Fuck. Uh, I'm telling you, bruv. I tell you, if I could just speak freely sometimes, you know. If I could speak freely sometimes, you know, bruv. And let you really understand what's going on and what goes on and all that bollocks, man. Do you get me? Mentally, though, bruv. It ain't nothing like raw. Anyone particular is going to be interested in. We all got our own problems, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, it's hard, bruv. This is shit right now, man. Oh, yeah, realness and peace, yeah. I like the peace bit, rude boy. The realness bit, bruv, it's just who I am, innit, fam? You get me? It's not no fronting or stunting and all that, bruv. Ain't gonna take back no talk, yeah, like most niggas do. You know when man talk shit on the screen, rude boy? Yeah? And then a the man jump on their screen, blood. And they just take back bare talk. I ain't taking back nothing. <laughs> nothing, mate. Right? I don't... <laughs> I don't understand. I don't see why... I I need to take back any talk right about now, blood. You get me, fam? Yeah, I ain't said nothing wrong. Do you know what I mean? I ain't said nothing wrong. I just speak the truth. I speak my truth, innit? I speak my truth, yeah? And it affects people, bruv. There are many things people can say that would affect me, blood. The only difference is, yeah, I wouldn't let them know they done it. What I would do, yeah, I would go away, sort it out, come back on their screen and say, you know what, yeah, bruv, something you said made me... Change my steez, bro. Yeah, so respect to you. And at the same time, you bun me, road boy. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, bruv. Not want to go to war with a man, bro. Man's only speaking for the better good of people that, you know, maybe suffer what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to get at nobody when I talk, man. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to let you know that, bro. If you're here, there, or anywhere, bruv, yeah, you're fucked up. Sort it out. Yeah, obviously, bro, but fam, even if I don't think before I speak, bro, yeah, I'm not aiming that, look, man, look, 
Check this out, right? No disrespect here, but I don't know any of you, any, right? So if I don't know you, okay, right, I can't be aiming things at you directly. I don't even know your first names. So how can I be that? I don't even know your character. I don't know what color you are. I don't know where you're from or what you claim, okay? So when I'm talking, I'm talking from what I've seen in my life, innit, bruv? But even when I don't call no names, blood, it seems to hurt people's feelings, bro. That ain't my fault. That's not my fault. I'm always negative, bro. That's how it goes, man. Show me something positive and I'll talk about it, love. Yeah? You know what I mean? Like, you ain't got no... Oh, yes, you have. Fucking hell, you have got a thumbnail. I'll give you that. All right, bravo, bravo. My bad. Yeah. Show me something neg Show me something positive, Louise, right? And I'll show you it. The only positivity in my life, yeah? I create it. Okay? And I can't keep creating positivity just for the simple fact of creating it, bro. Sometimes I need to see positivity to get energy from it, bro. Rather than criticize, yeah? Why don't you do something to uplift us then? You get me? Why is it on me, bruv? You sit there and you cast aspersion and you cast opinion. Just like what I do. But you don't know me to do that. You don't know me. What have I got to be positive about, bro? Yeah, I buried two kids. Yeah, I nursed my missus from fucking hell, bruv. And my mum's gone blind and they got divorced. What is there to be happy about, love? Like, what is there to be positive about? And then when I go out there to find positivity, there's blue lights flashing everywhere, bro. And people getting stabbed up and shot. You tell me what is there to talk about that's positive. Please tell me, please. Show me something. Show me something. That's right. Thank you, comrades, bro. Sometimes I need help, rude boy. Yeah, real talk. That's all they take in for real, fam. They pick out the bad bits, rude boy. Yeah, brother, man, I don't know anybody's channel that's well balanced like mine, fam. Yeah, everybody, all they show you is uh, what they think is positivity. Other people's shit that is either good or bad. Music, innit? Or, uh, you know, other people's work, bro. But they won't show you their real lives that they might have made a mistake today. And they might have to pay for it for the next couple of days, bro. Yeah, but at least they show you how to deal with it. Like, all of you people, I know you expected me to go mad on my neighbours and kick up rumpus and, and go crazy when people put gun in my face and people fucking try to rush me. I must now leave my house and hunt them down with a big gun. Yeah, all because you lot expect me to do that. No, bro. Ain't no cinema screen, number one. Number two, bro, yeah, I'm not going to jail for your amusement, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, I'm big enough and old enough, yeah, to ride shit out and see where time might take it. If no one's not aggressing a situation, yeah, okay, why am I going to push the situation from a road beef that was a fight, okay, bro, even though they had bad intentions, why would I push it now into a situation, yeah, where the guns come out, bro? No one ever hurt my pride, mate. Three against one and a bike chain, or when someone put a gun in my face, bro, I'm still living there doing what I do, bro, yeah, where are they? Where are they? Right, you see where I'm coming from? Like, please don't, uh, you know, what about when I'm, when I'm out there with the youth, them? When I'm out there day to day giving complete strangers laptops, cameras, computers. I don't hear you mention that about that. Oh, or maybe I'm just doing it for fame. Yeah, or maybe I'm just doing it to get numbers, bro. I've been doing it for all my life. Yeah? I gave away my fucking Skyway BMX at the age of 14, mate. And I ain't stopped doing shit like that. Yeah, and it was a, like I said before, it was somebody that showed me charity. Yeah, that made me charitable, bro. Yeah? Okay? And like Com Art said, bro, all you do is watch the negative, man. Please, you know. Like, if you're going to come over here, be fair, bro. Because you can't really criticize me, you know. Number one, you don't live my life. And number two, yeah, bro, I have a right to be crit crit critical about the things I'm talking about, bro. Yeah? Because they involve murder. They involve your life not being safe. Your life and your mum and your dad and your sister and your brother. Okay? Not being safe. These are the things that I'm highlighting. And... And I give you knowledge, yeah, to know that you must walk with awareness, bruv. Take the fucking iPod out of your ears when you're walking the street, yeah? When you're in your office or when you're on the train, yeah, where there's more people, then by all means, use your iPod, bro. But some of you bastards are so unaware. You get robbed and don't even realise it, yeah? Okay? Like, so much shit that man bring you and all you want to do is focus on the fact that what? My, this is my normal voice, I want you to know that. This is my normal voice. This is me talking. So if you feel like I'm shouting and screaming like everybody else does, yeah, you've got that twisted completely, bro. Yeah? And when you see my face screwed up, it's because I'm short-sighted, okay? So I'm always wrenching up my face, and I'm always talking with this voice. You put the two together, yeah, you've got me twisted, mate. But I've got to explain this to strangers. Why? Because I care to, that's why. I don't want you to write me off. 
as ignorant, but at the same time, you shouldn't be judging me so quick neither. You're a woman, right? You're a woman, right? Okay? You're a chick, right? You ain't got nothing good to say to me. Yeah, you're a chick, right? Yeah, you act like you watch, man, right? And you ain't got nothing positive to say to me as a female. That's like you're rotten and you're deliberate. If you ain't got nothing admirable to say to me, yeah, as a as a black man who, who is supposed to be whatless and useless and don't know how to look after their missus and not cheat, bro, why, why aren't you commending me for that? Yeah, why aren't you commending me for the way that I put my life on pause for my girlfriend when most men cheat on their missus, yeah? I mean, they're denying myself every single day opportunity, yeah, progression, yeah, finances, the lot for the betterment, yeah, of somebody else, okay? I don't see you saying nothing about that. Am I talking to you? Did you not pose me a question? Did you not pose me a question, love? Mrs. Louise, didn't you pose a question? Where's your boyfriend right now? Yeah, where's your man right now? Where's your dude? What's he doing right now? Huh? Where's your dude, Trevor Marshall Wablo? Huh? Answer me that. Where's your boyfriend right now, bruv? You got time to watch me, you should be talking to him, mate. But that's not my point. Where's your boyfriend, bro? Do you know where he's at? Come on, missus knows where I'm at 24-7. Could we a team like that? So why don't you go away? So hold on, hold on. Excuse me, what has happened to you in a very minor to my life and people I know? Why don't you go away then? Go away, bro. This ain't for you then. You're, put, you're nice, but this, is, this channel ain't for you. Idiot. Is that your response? Ignorance. Is that your response? You tell me that I'm negative, and then you answer me with a negative response. Because you're a fool. Yeah, you're a troll. You can fuck off, mate. I don't even want you here. You're a joke. You're a joke, man. Get lost, man. I don't care if you're single, man. You're single because you're horrible. You're single because you're horrible. That's why. And you know what? You can stay there, actually. Because you're single, innit? You're single, right? Because you're horrible, love. Yeah, that's why you're single, mate. No empathy. None. No, no maternal instincts, nothing, rotten, barren, barren, mate, yeah, probably barren, no man don't want you, blood, move from here, man, get me, bruv, I don't want you over here, mate, so, the more I see your name, the more I'm just gonna murder you, love, yeah, come over here with your negativity, mate, yeah, you ask me, you tell me that I'm negative, and when I explain to you, there's more than just negativity to me, you wanna tell me about you don't care, so what's the fucking point of your, of your statement in the first place, you dumb bud? You dumb bud. Single out of choice, my ass. No man don't want you, blood. Who would want you? Who would want someone like you, bruv? You get me? All you do, yeah, is pick out negative in people, blood. Any man that's with you, fam, you'll never tell them nothing nice. You'll never motivate them. You'll never rub their head and tell them it's going to be cool. Yeah, you just want to criticise them for what they ain't doing and what your friend's man can do for their girlfriend, but but he can't do for you. You are them chicks, man. Move from here, man. You're rotten, man. Go away, bro. Go away. Can't have a conversa conversation. Listen, love. When I tried to talk to you, you tried to belittle me about my life don't mean nothing. So what the fuck do you want? Why are you watching somebody, yeah, who's absolute nothing to you, bruv? See how I'm coming from? You people are stupid. You get yam inside and out. It's so easy, bruv. Yeah? You can't have a conversation. Why? Because now you was rude to me and you pressed my button. Because I don't really need to be nice to you. Right? Remember that at all times. Yeah? Remember that at all times. I don't need to be nice to you, love. Yeah? You little... Dried up girl with no man. Go away, man. Just get me. Go and find one. Yeah, that way you won't be over here. How about that? Joke, man. Move, man. Don't let me really abuse you, you know. Real talk. Yeah? And after this, you're gone anyway. Yeah? So you might as well get it all in now, love. Get it all in. Get it off your chest. Joke thing, man. Move on from that, man. Hey, what, hey, what you do, yeah? Go in cunt's corner, man. Go in cunt's corner, mate. Later on. Go and sit in cunt's corner, you cunt. Get me, don't come over here and start on me, bro. I'm not, I'm not the one. Yeah? You're not my missus, bro. I'll tell you about your underneath. Don't come near me, mate. You ain't my missus for me to want to respect you, mate. Yeah? You're a tired whore, bro. I don't eat pork, man. So don't come over here with your, with your blonde hair, with your blonde hair, mate. Yeah? Just get me, fam. You know what I mean? I don't eat pork. Only, only between bread.
Yeah, what's good, people? You done now? Idiot, man. Fool that, man. Idiot that, man. Get me come over here when I try try act like what? Like you're better than me, bruv. Move your pussy, Clark. You're watching me, you fool. You get me from your do that, yeah, mate? You're either equal to me or nothing. Leave it, G. Long fam. Bro, anyone come over here and think they're better than me, bruv. They're going to get a tongue lashing, rude boy. And that's it, mate. Yeah, we can move on. Why don't you ask me a question to like or... or why don't you run something by the, by the chat room so we can talk about something else then? That's why you're supposed to be here. Nadim Wablo, done now. What's going on? Travel Marshall Wablo, come on, bruv. You know how we do. Bruv, it's normal, cuz. Just get me fam. You know what, yeah? Today, yeah, I went to my friend's house today for the first time ever, right? Someone's invited me to their house, right, in recent times, right? I've gone to his yard, read by, yeah? As I've gone there, fam, before I've even hit the front room, yeah, I've told him respect about five times. I've asked him where I can go. I've asked him if I can use his toilet politely. Yeah, okay, this is a man that I work out in the gym with, bruv, and boisterous as fuck, yeah? But when I'm in his yard, I'm a completely different person, bro. Do you know what I'm saying, fam? If you want me to be nice, yeah, then be nice, innit? I'm a mirror to who you are, don't you get that? I can't just sit here and be a verbal punch dummy for people, okay, bruv? But yeah, I'm supposed to be nice to them. Fuck that, man. That's too much of a privileged position, mate. I don't care if people judge me, yeah, can they come over here for 10 seconds and catch me talking like this? Fuck it, man. Do you get me? I can't always be nice then, innit? Do you know what I mean, bro? Even though I'm in a perfectly good mood, I'm nice. It's Friday. It's Friday. I ain't got nothing to get up for tomorrow, so I can lay in. I can play my game tonight. I can do what I want, bro. I'm nice. I'm good. I'm good, rude boy. How's the drone going? Do you know what? I was going to fly it today, you know, Tim. But I lost my balls, mate. <laughs> I was going to fly it today, but I lost my balls, man. Yeah, the rain, rude boy. I don't want to send it far and it start pissing down with rain. Boy, I tell you, boy. You know what, yeah? You know something, yeah? Selassie, I want to know your take. I don't understand, bro. Talking, nah, bro. I don't know nothing about Selassie, bro. Selassie, I don't know nothing about it, bro. It's just a turn of phrase to me, you know, travel marshal, blood. Real talk. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm a conscious black man, bro. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not one of them conscious niggas, read, bro. Not, I don't really know nothing about black people, you know, fam. Yeah, I'll be real, blood. Yeah, because you know why? It's a good thing that I don't know about it anyway. Because what, 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 what I heard and was taught little bits of, now, because of the internet, yeah, none of it's true. None of us don't come from Africa, we come from all over the fucking place, okay? Right, we ain't shit, and you got all different factions of black people, bruv, so pick one, bro. I'm just a black man, fam. Yeah, I'm just a black man, yeah, I was born and bred in Britain, yeah? And if you ask me where I'm from, I'm black British. That's it. That's it, okay? My parents didn't want to educate me in no black, black shit, okay? Or they would've. Do you know what I'm saying? Real talk, there's a waste of time knowing about it, mate. All it is is weakness, bro. Come on, fam, let's, let's have it right. Rather than... Rather than talk about the past, three, boy, let's talk about the forwards, mate. Because but our past is shit. Weak, weak people, bro. Sold out by our own for some rum and a few coins. Yeah, put on a slave ship. Uh, uh, all our, all our, all our females got fucked, raped in front of us. We didn't do nothing apart from sing songs, read by sing songs and shine shoes and pick cotton, read by yeah. And any one of us that got brave got their head chopped off, yeah. And that was it. That was it for years and years and years. And then the white man decides that he's had enough of that, yeah, and now we can be, okay? And a uh, hundred years later, yeah, we're killing each other. So, really and truly, it's like he knew. It's like, let me, let me just ease out now, yeah, and design a strategy where these black bastards will kill themselves. Yeah, and lo and behold, lo and behold, we're killing ourselves. That's why they made social housing, blood. They know black people can't be together, bro. Hey, let me tell you something. Word is born on my mum's roof, boy. When I was in Dover prison, yeah? When I was in Dover prison in um, 1992, big up Scott. Big up Cyril Scott. Yeah, big up Cyril Scott. He will tell you, fam, there was only raggo on the wall. Raggo on the wall. Yeah, it would say in the officer's, in the officer's room by the allocation board, it would say only two black people to a dormitory. The dormitories are six-man dorms, you know? Yeah, and it would say on the wall... Only two black people to a dormitory because they incite problems. That's a fucking jailhouse, blood. Where they're supposed to be able to handle the worst. Yeah? They even got a sign in there about black people's nature. And it's true. 
All I did was park on a yellow line. And I've got police in my house. And people trying to turn all my neighbours and kids against me. For parking on a yellow line. No matter what you think of me. And no matter what I've done bro. If you ain't going to let it be known. It can't be that serious bro. That you want to do all those things. What if any of those things stuck? Do you know what I'm saying? You're going to get me nicked and arrested. Or, or get me as bowled off for nothing. Come on man. Do you get me fam? And then you want me to have... You always want me to have high opinion. Yeah, I can't have high opinion when I'm living with people around people like that, bro. Can't go forwards, mate. Not locally, you can't. Yeah, you got people sitting down, thumping out music to deliberately get on people's nerves. It don't bother me, mate. Yeah, I got triple glazing, bruv. When I shut that balcony door, I can't hear shit. Yeah? But people... This is where people sit outside in their car for hours... Banging out bashment, right? The worst type of music that you can bang out. You know the dance hall bashment, right? With the man in the background. So wah! Lighter! Lighter! Right? All that bollocks going on for three hours, okay? Off the internet, says so unlimited supply, okay? All to get on people's nerves. Or to let people know I've got a car. Wherever it is, bro. In the fucking winter. Come on, mate. It's pity that I feel. I don't really care about them, bro. I'm just letting you know. There ain't nothing good to talk about. What's there good to talk about? Yeah, yeah. One of you tell me something good to talk about. Right now, sincerely. Sincerely. Hold on. Hold on, my bad. Wait there. Hey, Nadim, who are you talking about, man? Nadim, spell the name full, man. Yeah? Don't be shy, bro. Who are you talking about, fam? Yeah, don't put the word troll in there. If you ain't indicating straight away who it is, man. Yeah, who are you talking about? Kick them out right now, fam. Straight. You've been rolling me for a long time, bro. So just point the, just point the finger, rude boy, and stop fuck about. That's all you need to know, mate. Yeah? Oi, oi, oi. Oi, Nadim. Who you talking about, bro? Don't smile, fam. Tell me who you talking about, blood. Are you talking about the bread of rudders, mate? Just talk, man. Fucking hell. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This here. They are totally oblivious. Totally oblivious, bro. Now you want to tell me there's a troll in here, but you don't want to tell me who it is. Okay then. All right. All right. I apologize, Nadim. Sorry. I don't know the track of your conversation. So I apologize to you, right? You know how I'll be. Bro, but I'm big enough to say sorry to you, right? But I'm just saying to you, blood. Like, if you know Chatty Pat is a fake profile, bruv, yeah, then that's it, innit? Do you know what I mean? Like, you get me? There's no point even talking about it. You know who it is, blood. You know who it is, innit? No, I hear you, Nadim. I hear you now, bro. Respect, bro. I hear you, fam. Fam, you know how I be, man. Do you get me? You know it's never personal, blood. Yeah, I just speak how I speak, man. Yeah, I'm just saying, though, innit? Like, I don't understand why people ask me what they know. Yeah, they ask me what they know, bro. Who's this fake chatty patty? So why are you even talking about it? Do you get what I mean? Why are you even talking about it, man? Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I mean? Why are you even talking about it, bro? This is what I'm saying. It's a little subtle wind-ups, bro. And you know what, blood? You're lucky I don't knock you out of the room, blood. Real talk. I keep telling people, yeah? Right? Don't, don't skirt along them lines, bro. Don't try to come over here and ridicule me if that's what you're on, bro. Real talk. Did you have your brandy and coffee? You're fucking damn right. You're fucking damn right. Cheers, mate. You're fucking right. See where you are? You see where there? You see where you are? You see where there? You're damn fucking right. I deserve it, blood. There's nothing was there, fam. Edmonton. Yeah, bro. Brandy and coffee, rude boy, yeah? Do you get me, fam? 
You know? Grown man shit. Lots of people don't know the fam. Nadim is it brother man. That brother has exercised me so well on his channel that he's no longer getting the views that he would get to get any money. Yeah, okay. Right, because I'm starving him on YouTube of any type of bionic footage, blood. Yeah, I'm starving him, mate. Yeah, okay, you ain't getting no more live footage off of me on YouTube, mate. I'ma tell you that, rude boy. Straight off the bizzle, blood. Yeah, okay? And that's it, mate. People can watch them if they like, man. Yeah? I, everybody's got a fucking duplicate out here, bro. Everyone's got a channel that's got people mocking them, fam. I can't... There's nothing much... <laughs> you get me, bro? Yeah? Benjen. Yeah, there ain't nothing much more I can do about... About, uh... Trolls, mate. So you get me? One day, one of you might find one for me, blood. Yeah? And I'll fucking pay ya. One day, one of you might find one for me, bruv. You know what I mean? But until then, fuck it. You know what, yeah? On a real, right? On a real. If I sat here every day on some wild wee shit, like, yo, bro, and yeah, cuz, and yo, bro, like, you wouldn't even... Like, would you believe every day I'm on some fantastic shit? Get me, bruv. There is, get me. It's not... There ain't nobody... Like, look, man. But I ain't no rap nigga, innit? I'm not a rap nigga, bro. I'm not in the studio. Yeah. I'm not around movie sets. I'm not around... That a gal. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not stunting for nobody, bro. Do you know today? It took me over three hours to put on a pair of jeans and a top. Blood. Yeah. Just to go to my friend's house. Three hours. To put a pair of jeans on, a top and matching trainers. Do you know why? I've got abundance of it. Okay? And I want it to feel good. Okay? And I end up feeling horrible. Alright? Yeah? It's easy to stunt, man. On idiot things, bro. None of these guys are owning property, though. None of them. Riz is alright, man. Riz is over there, mate. Lounging, son. There he is, look. Over there, lounging, Riz. Riz, are you? Yo. There he is. You got me? Or not? Yeah? Rude boy? Moving like a woman, fam. That's right, rude boy. You know why? Bruv, command always want to come out impeccable, blood. Yeah, I don't mean that as in like raw, you know, wear the latest and that. No, I want to make sure that I do what my mum said, bruv. Yeah, wear clean pants and vest when I go out the door, blood. Yeah, and clean my skin. Yeah? You feel me? You're like a slab of concrete, can't stop, not flop. They can't flop me, bro. You're mad, rude boy. Fam, you know what it is? Travel martial blood. The more you tell me what to do, yeah, the more I rebel, rude boy. Yeah? Do you get me, fam? I know why I malfunction, rude boy. I know who I am, fam. Yeah? I know I know why I malfunction, bro. And I, you know what, blood? To be honest with you, yeah, it keep, it, the way that I am keeps more of my pride and principles than not, blood. Yeah? I'd rather not agree with you, mate, and be myself. Yeah? Do you get where I'm coming from, blood? Yeah? I, I don't want, ever want to be no yes man. I'd rather be a deliberate, awkward bastard than be seen as a yes man. Do you get me? Puppy, yeah? He was a puppy, yes? He's dead now. He, bruv, he's, he's nearly dead now, man. Yeah, Riz is 10 years old now, bro. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's full of life. But as far as dog years go, that's 70 dog years, bro. Yeah? Starting to worry about all that, man. I'm a little, my, I'm a little brethren fam. You get me, bro. I'm a little road dog fam. Yeah. Anyways, are you? <laughs> you got <know what> me? <laughs> Hold on, wait there. Right, right now. What's this? What you just jump up, bro? Like I'm his slave. What's this? No talking. No talking at all, bruv. Make his bed so he can jump on the blanket, mate. What weed you smoking? Bruv, do you know what, blood? I don't even know, blood. All I know is that I can taste it and that's the end of that. The only ones there, fam. There's so many different types of weed out there right now, bro. Yeah? I don't know what, 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 what it is, mate. Yeah, bruv. When it, when a dog gets to 70, rude boy, yeah, fam, you wouldn't like to be 70, rude boy. The only one's there, blood. My dog's 70 years old now, bro. 
I had him, you know what, yeah? When I got my dog, right? All the people here, do you know what they said? It's a passing phase. He just wants to be a tough guy. Yeah? That's why he got the pit bull. Uh, my probation officer said, uh, Stephen Ewing having a pit bull is like an extension of his attitude. That's what she told the judge, you know? She told the judge, me having a pit bull is an extension of my attitude, bruv. That woman tried her best to kill my dog, read boy. Yeah? Don't know me from Adams. Yeah, okay? Right? And then want to write a report about me, bruv, and tell me that my dog is an extension of my attitude, blood. If I never fought for my dog in the courthouse the way that I fought for him and put my freedom and liberty at risk, yeah, so the judge can work out that I'm super passionate and I don't give a fuck about your courthouse if you're going to kill my dog, mate. Yeah, I'm not one of your average dog owners that own pit bulls. Yeah, I love my dog. Yeah, I wipe, I clean his fucking backside with my bare hands, bro. Okay, fam? I brush his teeth and I wash his balls, mate. Yeah, and in between his fucking toes and dig out his ears and his nose. Okay, bruv? On a daily basis, mate. Okay? Right? So, if you want to, you know, you want to assume, assume that all I want my dog for, yeah, is to bite people. That's your business, bruv. But fuck your courthouse then, innit? Do you get me? And, as you can see, the calculated risk worked. Because my dog's right here, right? You're done, no? Sometimes you got to fight, fam. Yeah? Told the judge straight, mate. I told, if you don't believe me, my neighbour downstairs will tell you, mate. He was in there. I told the judge, you're accusing my dog of being a bad dog, bruv. Yeah, he don't bark. He ain't bit nobody, bruv. You could be, I said to the judge, Rago. I said, you could be at home being violent behind the door, okay? But we don't know that, so we can't accuse you of nothing. Yeah, all men have the propensity to hit women, okay? Right, like all dogs have the propensity to bite, okay? My dog has done neither things, yeah, but you want to kill him. Yeah, the dog is a pit bull, he don't know it. Yeah, he just acts good, yeah, and that's it. And you want to kill him. And if I don't fight for my dog, yeah, all you're going to say to your colleagues is, here we go, it's people like that that own them dogs. They don't even care that we're going to kill it. So I fight for my dog. And you make the choice if I'm just an angry black bastard or if I'm passionate and you're hurting me. Yeah, and I've got my dog back, as you can see. Yeah, how many men do you know got back their pit bull? Yeah, official pit bull on, 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 on paperwork. Hold on. Yeah, that's what allows me to have my dog. Yeah? Dangerous Dogs Act 1991. Yeah? You shall not sell or exchange your dog. Or give it to anyone or authorize it for sale or as a gift. You shall not allow your dog to be in any street, road, place to which the public have access without a, it being muzzled, kept on a lead and in the control of a person 16 years or older. The dog must be securely fitted with a muzzle sufficient to prevent it biting. You shall not abandon your dog or allow it to stray. It is recommended that when your dog is muzzled, the muzzle be of a type that does not inhibit the panting, breathing or drinking of your dog. Requirements for Certificate of Exemption The Certificate of Exemption remains valid for the life of the dog, provided the requirements attached to it are observed. These requirements are the dog, that the dog is kept in a secure condition at home so it cannot escape, that the dog is kept in a secure condition when in public place, i.e., it must be muzzled and held on a lead by someone who is at least 16 years old. If asked to do so by a police officer, your local authority officer, dog warden, the keeper of the dog must show a certificate of exemption or present it to such an officer within five days and immediately display the dog's tattoo and allow the transponder to be read. That third party insurance is kept in force. That the index of exempted dogs must be notified by any change of address or which the dog is kept for longer than 30 days. And number six, that the index of exempted dogs must be notified of the death or export of the dog. Any breach of any of the above requirements may result in prosecution, bro. Okay? That's what you have to go through to keep the dog. Oh, yeah. And don't forget the £145 every August. Yeah? Every August without fail. Okay? And there you go. Yeah? There's all the details for the dog, mate. Yeah? Okay? And I've got a big folder in there of bare shit. You see there it says, dog's name, Rizza. Yeah? Type. Yeah? Pit Bull Terrier. Yeah, okay? You see it? 
Dog's name, Rizza, yeah? Type, yeah? Pitbull Terrier, yeah, okay, you see it? Yeah, Pitbull Terrier, mate, all right? And then, hold on, wait. And I've got another one where it says, dog type, it says Pitbull Terrier. Then it says, specific type, and it says American Pitbull Terrier. Right, that's in, the, in there somewhere. Yeah, so we ain't got no mongrel over here, mate. Pedigree blood. Pedigree pitbull blood. Authentic. I don't know, bruv. I don't know. I don't know, um, um, Steph, bro. I don't know. Swear our dogs got took at the same time. I don't know, man. It's all bullshit, mate. My dog don't even bark to her ass. Bruv, they took my dog for three months, rude boy. Try to kill him. Because of my neighbours. Neighbours told lies on him. Yeah? Every time police come here for my dog, he tried to bite their kids. My dog's unruly. My dog's vicious. Yeah? I don't have no control of my dog. Can you believe it? I don't have no control of my dog. Fucking hell. People are fucking wicked, man. I'm telling you. Trying to kill the dog, you know. And at the same time, stroke him. Trying to kill the dog and at the same time stroke him. Fucking hell, blood. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is, um, calm arts, bruv? It's people talk a lot of shit about these dogs, blood. They boost them, yeah? No common sense. Bro, they got locked jaw, blood. Yeah? They got locked jaw. When they go mad, they can't open their mouth. My God, did you hear what you said? They can't open their mouth. What animal in the world cannot open its mouth? No, no, no. It's a metaphor. Meaning, the dog's bite pressure is so heavy that when he shut that mouth of his, yeah, okay, it's going to be like opening a door without a key before you get that open. That's it. That's what it means. Lockjaw. Okay? It's when they go and they bite, getting their mouth open against their will. It's like, it's like having a door with no key. That's what lockjaw means, bro. Fucking heck, man. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what's funny about that, Travel Mark? <laughs> what <are> you know? <laughs> oh, that make me laugh, bro. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, bro. My dog don't do nothing, fam. My dog is a natural born chicken, fam. Yeah, my dog is a natural born chicken. But you try to hurt him, fam, he'll rip you to shreds. Yeah? Trust me, blood. My dog, you can do most things to my dog. But don't try to give him no free pain or make him uncomfortable. He will bite your hand off. Okay? Right? And other dogs, yeah, he's not scared of no other dog. I've never seen him scared of no other dog. A dog might bark at him, right? And then he'll run off and reassess the situation. But then he'll come right back. Right back and rely on footwork and fuck with them. Yeah, okay? Yeah, he's had a couple scuffs, mate. And he come out well in all of them. Yeah, but I don't like my dog fighting. I hate it, bro. Dog fights are horrible, bro. Yeah, it's horrible. They fight to the death every time, fam. And you know the thing about a dog, rude boy? This is why I say people that own dogs that beat them, yeah? It's futile, mate. Yeah? If a dog bit you, you would scream. Yeah? But if you see when two dogs fight, when they stop, they're not even moaning. They're not even moaning, fam. So unless you're trying to break your dog's bones, yeah, bro? There's no point beating your dog, blood. Yeah? It don't feel it like that. It's upset emotionally. It always wants to please you, bruv. And when you beat your dog for no reason, blood, or when you beat your dog at all, yeah, it's so confused, yeah, that you can damn break its spirit in one event of beating it. Yeah, I hit my dog, yeah? No lie. I hit my dog when he was a puppy. Do you know to this day, right? To this day, he remembers it. Okay? And I feel so bad. Okay? And you know the day I realised, yeah, I did wrong to him, yeah, it was when I walked past him, and he, and he never put his head up for me to stroke him. I said, oh my God. Yeah? So I spent the last nine years, yeah? Never badding up my dog in any way that he don't understand. Yeah? Never. Fourteen, what's going on? You good? Yeah? You people bad up their dogs for no reason. One time I saw a man kick his dogs in the ribs. Yeah, I went over there and I choked him against the tree blood. Yeah? 
Okay? The man kicked his dogs because he saw me walking past, you know. He thought it was a bad man shouting and screaming at his dog, trying to control it. Yeah? Okay? And then he kicked the dog in the ribs. And you know when they make that little pitiful yelping noise? Blood. Bruv, I go over, I went over there and I was grabbed him by his throat, bruv, and pinned him against a tree. Told him, yeah, bruv, you see? You see? And the dogs weren't doing nothing. Like they wanted him to get fucked up. I, I want to explain something, right? Let me explain something to people, right? If you reach my age, alright, look, my life ain't been what you want it to be, innit? Okay? I went to jail, you know, had a good childhood. Had a, had a good enough childhood, I'm not going to lie, okay? Went jail, alright? And ever since I first went jail, all it's been is trying to break that cycle, right? Okay? But along the way, yeah, bro, I've been through some fucking shit, okay? Some real shit, okay? And I've always been alone through it. Always, always, always been alone through it. I don't have friends where they got my back, yeah? So jail, road, I'm always on my ones, no matter what comes my way, alright? And at my age, yeah, when I've chosen, I've chosen to walk away from any of that shit from a long time ago, and I've announced it, yeah, and I don't encourage nothing bad around me, I don't delve into people's business, I don't try to make fast money, I show you my hustle, bro, it's pitiful, blood, my hustle's pitiful, but it keep me off-road, it keep me away from people, yeah, and it make me have the ability to build a bigger picture, Without having to worry about day-to-day -day pennies, right? So I'm cool with that. Who am I to ask for more? Yeah? I ain't exactly got the best resume, bro. Yeah? And I understand that I'm reaping what I sow. So, with that in mind, yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, I figured it out. You're only in the situation you're in because of your own choices. Ain't no one do this to you. Yeah, you did it yourself. So I'm at peace, bro. But, my question is, yeah, are you going to allow someone to come along, bruv? And just take who you are. Because they feel like it. Yeah. You've always got to be a good guy. Yeah. Because you're older. Or because it's your channel. Or because on road. You you know. You're up against it. Or raw. You live with your missus. And you can't do nothing. Yeah. Or raw. Your missus ain't well. Or you ain't well. Yeah. I'm supposed to just. Let people take my CV bro. No bro. That's all I'm defending bro. Me bro. Yeah. I'm not defending no badness on road. I ain't telling you to go out there and kill nothing. I'm telling you to go and get a job, mate. I promise you, bruv. Go and get a job, mate. Yeah? Okay? It much better than worrying about fuckery, bro. I'm telling you, man. Yeah? I'm telling you. Do you know how many times I've laid my back, my back against the wall thinking, fuck. 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 Yeah? Fucking beef now. Yeah? I've got police looking for me left, right and centre, fam. All because... Five min and five minutes ago, I was perfectly cool. Now, five minutes later, I'm on some fuck, fuck, fuck shit. Yeah? And I gotta either go and hand myself in, yeah, or play the fugitive game, where they're gonna tear down my mum's house, tear down my girl's house, and tear down everybody else's house around me. Yeah? All in a space of five seconds, bro. Yeah, your life just switch. Yeah, all because your testosterone was high, because you're around your friend them. But if you was on your own, you probably wouldn't even move like that. You feel me, bruv? And I've, five times in my life, yeah, I've had to learn the hard way because of things like that, bro. Fuck, yeah? Big fucking old fam, yeah? Big fuck, rude boy, yeah? When you get nicked for certain things and you just know it's a jailhouse thing. You know it's jailhouse. There's no ifs and buts about it. No bell, yeah? Nothing. You're in jail tonight. You got nicked this morning. Well, I got nicked on a Monday in the morning and I was in fucking Wormwood Scrubs by Monday night, bruv. If that ain't a culture shock, or if I... Yeah? Imagine waking up in your bed with no charges. No charges, blood. Imagine waking up, waking up in your bed with no charges, right? And you're in jail the same night. <laughs> On some new charge. And you're walking down the landing. Right? As you walk in there. 11 years next door to your cell. Yeah? And 18 years on the other side. And you're thinking, oh God, please, no God. What am I doing here? What am I doing here, God? Like, no, man. And that time, I weren't even guilty, blood. But like, no one ain't going to listen to that. Can you imagine? Picture it. Picture it. Picture it. Picture it. I'm standing up there talking to an officer. 
trying to explain to him that I'm innocent. <laughs> all right, bruv, you know what he said to me? Yeah, you're all innocent in there, ain't ya? All of you didn't do it, didn't ya? Yeah? You're all innocent, mate. And when you hear that, yeah, you just don't even talk about it no more, bruv. You don't tell no one that you're not innocent. You don't mention it. You just do your bang up, rude boy. Because what you realise right there and then is, right, everyone's in there with their own fucking problems, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but can you imagine telling an officer you're innocent, bruv? You're a joke. You have to prove that shit. Bad, bruv. Real talk, bruv. I mean, I mean, Wormwood Scrubs, you know. Depressed, rude boy. Yeah, depressed wearing a pair of tight Armani's and a vest over a t-shirt. Yeah, I had to wear that for three days. Yeah, until my clothes came through reception for my missus. Yeah, I had a good girl at the time, bruv. She looked after me still. My ex-girlfriend, she looked after me still. I'm not going to lie, she held it down with man still. Yeah, 100. 100, bro. Yeah, like my, my, my time in jail was very easy because of that individual female, okay? And I will always respect her for it, blood. Yeah, no matter what me and her went through, yeah, in the end, I will always respect her for that. Yeah, she made my time in jail very easy, okay? Just by being there and coming on every visit that she could and... I didn't have to tell her to book no... Your testosterone was to tell her to book no visits, bruv. Because you're around your friend them. But if you was on your own, you probably wouldn't even have moved like that. You feel me, bruv? And I've, five times in my life, yeah, I've had to learn the hard way because of things like that, bro. Fuck, yeah? Big fucking old fam, yeah? Big fuck, rude boy, yeah? When you get nicked for certain things and you just know it's a jailhouse thing. You know it's jailhouse. There's no ifs and buts about it. No bell. Yeah. Nothing. You're in jail tonight. You got nicked this morning. But I got nicked on a Monday. In the morning. And I was in fucking wor um, Wormwood Scrubs by Monday night, bruv. If that ain't a culture shock, rude boy. Yeah. Imagine waking up in your bed with no charges. No charges, blood. Imagine waking up, waking up in your bed with no charges, right? And you're in jail the same night. <laughs> on some new charge. And you're walking down the landing, right? As you walk in there, 11 years next door to your cell. Yeah, and 18 years on the other side. And you're thinking, oh God, please, no God. What am I doing here? What am I doing here, God? Like, no, man. And that time, I weren't even guilty, blood. But no one ain't going to listen to that. Can you imagine? Picture it. Picture it. Picture it. Picture it. I'm standing up there talking to an officer, trying to explain to him that I'm innocent. <laughs> all right, bruv, you know what he said to me? Yeah, you're all innocent in there, ain't ya? All of you didn't do it, didn't ya? Yeah? You're all innocent, mate. And when you hear that, yeah, you just don't even talk about it no more, bruv. You don't tell no one that you're not innocent. You don't mention it. You just do your bang up, rude boy. Because what you realise right there and then is, right, everyone's in there with their own fucking problems, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah? But can you imagine telling an officer you're innocent, bruv? You're a joke. You have to prove that shit. Bad, bruv. Real talk, bruv. I mean, I mean, Wormwood Scrubs, you know. Depressed, rude boy. Yeah? Depressed wearing a pair of tight Armani's. And a vest over a t-shirt. Yeah. I had to wear that for three days. Yeah. Until my clothes came through reception. For my missus. Yeah. I had a good girl at the time. Bruv. She looked after me still. My ex-girlfriend. She looked after me still. I'm not going to lie. She held it down with man still. Yeah. 100. 100 bro. Yeah. Like my, my, my time in jail was very easy. Because of that individual female. Okay. And I will always respect her for it blood. Yeah. No matter what me and her went through. Yeah. In the end. I will always respect her for that. Yeah, she made my time in jail very easy. Okay, just by being there and coming on every visit that she could. And I didn't have to tell her to book no visits, bruv. She booked four visits one time, fam. Because on demand, you could be on four visits a week, innit? Okay? Yeah, man. You people like that, I don't get it. Aya, what's going on? Is that the same I had that from a long time? I don't even know. What's good, man? Yeah. Yeah. 
Bruv, I'll tell you something though. I'll tell you one place. I'ma tell you one place, yeah? You little bitch niggas are lucky, fam. You little bitch niggas are lucky, fam. Yeah, I'll tell you one place you little bitch niggas are lucky you never went to, bro. Yeah, you little bitches, yeah? Lambeth Holding Pen, rude boy. Yeah, if you never went Lambeth Holding Pen, you don't know about real jailers, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you never went to Lambeth Holding Pen, yeah, you ain't been jail, mate. You've been to this new version of jail, Butlins. Yeah, HMP Butlins now, bro. PlayStation in your Peter, mate. Yeah, PlayStation in your Peter, bro. Yeah, and Digibox. And your cellmate, if you want one. Yeah, X amount of Chris and chocolate, Tango and phone cards, mobile phone, and man flying drugs over the wall to you. You're alright, mate. You're not bad. For breaking people's, for break, for fucking up people's lives, mate. That's not a bad trade. It's like a boarding school, mate. Yeah? Bruv, Lambeth Holding Pen, mate. Lambeth Holding Pen. If you was going to jail, whether you was YP, adult, gay, transsexual, fucking lesbian, it doesn't matter what you was, was, yeah? Young or old. Pardon me, sorry. Young or old, double A cat, it don't matter what you was, they'll send you, every courthouse would send you to Lambeth Holding Pen. Right, and then you go in your appropriate room. So I would be in the under 21's room. Yeah, the YP room. Okay, now you have to understand back then, you had your money in your pocket. Police would give back your money. Yeah, and then when you get to Feltham, they take it off you and put it in your personal cash. You never see it again until you go home. But in Lambeth Holding Pen, you have everything. Yeah, you might have your weed still. Yeah, you might you, you have money on you. You might have, you might have gone uh, a court from Feltham. Have your radio, have all your toiletries, have everything already. Bruv, and back when I was in there, it was the era of steaming. Yeah, it was the era of steaming. Alright? So when man's getting nicked, yeah, most man that were on it, they're getting nicked for steaming. It takes more than two man to steam. It takes about five to eight to ten man to steam, okay? So when ten man come through that door in Lambeth Holding Pen, what do you think they're on? They're on steaming. Yeah, and they come in that cell and they rub everything in sight. One by one. Brock you up, take your weed. Brock you up, take your money. Yeah, brock you up, take your trainers. Take your toiletries. Take your radio. Take your bracelet. Take whatever they want. Your clothes, fam. And then brock you up and leave you in the toilet bit. Yeah, for the officers to come and call your name. And you're not answering. And they know what happened. They know what happened, bruv. And you ain't gonna snitch. Because if you snitch, yeah, you get whacked up again in Feltham. In reception or on the wing. Okay? So Lambeth Holding Pen was the last place. If you got Nick broke, yeah, you could land in Feltham with a little bit of Donny Rude by it and go canteen in the morning. Yeah? And get your, your tobacco and your custard creams, blood. Do you get me? But it was a horrible place. But you know why I got a blind there? This is real talk. Yeah? This is real talk. Yeah? The reason why I, I was fucking scared to death, mate. I'm not gonna lie. Fucking Nine Junction, man, come in the room, blood. Nine Junction, man. That hate Streatham and Brixton, man. Yeah? Come in the room, steaming, robbing everyone, bruv. Do you know why I got a blight? Because of the way that I was dressed. Yeah? I had on a pair of a fucking... Uh, I, had a, I had a shaving on jacket on. Yeah? It was either Chippy or Big Star jeans on. That's all I used to wear. Chippy or Big Star. Okay? And it had a pair of ZX8000 Sky Blues on. Yeah? And a pair of black Ray-Bans on my head. And the a, and a, and a shaving on jacket was leather. Okay? Right, and the man them said, no, no, no. Them man, they're about the thing still. Yeah, he saw my trainers, bruv. And back then, trainers would gas you up. Anyway, it's going to cut off. I'm coming back. Yeah, I'm going to cut off and come back.